Hi guys, welcome back to another No Man's Sky base tour. Today we'll be doing Steampunk Scorpion from K2 Plus Gaming. I'll link K2 Plus Gaming's Facebook uh, page below. So go and show some of the No Man's Sky love and go and check out his uh, page. There's some amazing builds on there. Uh, does videos and all of that as well. So yeah, go and check that out guys. I have done some more of the uh, K2 Plus Gaming's videos on the channel. So if you want to search for them uh, and have a look, there's some amazing builds he's done. If you enjoy content, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, hit that bell notification. I do a base tour every other day, so yeah, if you, if you like base tours and that, please uh, please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification as well. Make sure you don't miss any. So yeah, this is a uh, steampunk scorpion. This is at the steampunk uh, system that I've been working around. We did one from ER, we did one from Rich Schmidt. Uh, we did another one, didn't we? What, what, what other one? What we did? I can't remember. Uh, the uh, Voljangs, that bird. What we did. So yeah, working his way around the system. But look at this. This looks absolutely amazing. It's proper huge as well. Uh, I couldn't believe the size of it. Uh, it's not got much of it inside. I, I did a quick look around when I'm doing cinematic for the beginning of that video. But does it really need it? You know what I mean? <laughs> it doesn't need it, does it? It's got like a little. Uh, Control bay up there, what you can sit in, made from the uh, freighter parts. And I, I just love all the colours, all the oranges underneath it and stuff like that. It look, looks proper amazing. All these eyes, what it's got as well. Looks proper like mechy, doesn't it? Steampunk mech type thing. All cogs and that, it's got foot wheels. Uh, let's go into first person, actually. Uh, always better to have a look around in first person. Especially when there's loads of little pieces. We'll, we'll, we'll have a look in camera mode. But look at this. I love these little uh, teeth fang things. Well, it's got fun. Does it have teeth, Scorpions? I know it's got like some pincers, hasn't it? But I didn't know if they were like bigger than that. I can't remember what a Scorpion looks like. I don't. I don't. I know it's got a big tail like that. And look at that tail. Looks really good. That. Wow. These are actually, them pieces there, are actually the uh, metal roof pieces, aren't they? Yeah. Well, they're metal roof pieces, I think. It's a shame no one's in the system, you can see all these bubbles moving and that while we're in camera mode. Oh, look at all the lighting and that. Very good. Yeah, we'll have a walk under it. Uh, I like how he's got these ladders so we can get up inside as well. To my jetpack, is shocking. Oh yeah, we'll have a look inside. Like I said, there's not much in the inside. There's a little control panel thing here and that. But it's good how we can see all engine moving in back. With these, uh, I forgot what they called them. They make a great, great loud noise though. I think, I'm sure they've toned that noise down. They used to be a lot louder, I'm sure they did. I bet, they've, uh, I bet they decided to tone it down a bit. I think we can get onto the top as well. Not sure about that. I'm sure there were a way to get onto the top. Let's uh, see if we can jump upside. Let me know in comments, K2, how long this actually took you to make, because it's proper. You don't use Blender or whatever, you dear. It's all uh, all done in game, which is cool. I mean, I say it loads of times, there's no wrong with using Blender at all. Uh, I like it. Yeah, these are all freighter parts, obviously, as you just glitch to, to glitch freighter parts down onto the planet. We'll see if we can actually get on top here. Oh, we can, but I don't know what's up here. Right, I do love this tail though. Really, really cool. I have to keep starting and stopping video. Uh, I mean, maybe just come around and then she's going to tip, so. Wow. Really, really cool build again, Kay. I'm just going to call you Kay because uh, K2, I'll call you. Easier than saying K2 plus gaming every time. He's got another build over there. See, I'm not sure why that's showing, unless he's got two accounts, because I thought that you could only see what one build per person, unless they're in system. And he's obviously not in system, because stuff would be moving in camera mode. 
Feel free to come and put your own bases down here, guys, as well, your own steam punt. So, yeah, I think we'll go view that one next. Uh, in fact, no, I won't do it next, because we just don't want the K2s. I think we'll go and view something else like that. Yeah, we'll go and look at that one from uh, Rich Schmidt, and then we'll go over to this K2. And then I think we'll go and uh, see that from K2, guys. We've already done that prosperous steam foul. Yeah, we'll go. And, we'll go and do that armored train from Rich Schmidt next. So if you don't want to miss that. Make sure you get that bell notification, guys. Let's just get a good screenshot for thumbnail, and then uh, that'll be. It. We've got to get a bit close so that tail gets uh, popped in, don't we? It's a massive build, this to be honest. Uh, something like that. Can have title at bottom, can't we? Very, very misty, isn't it? Yeah, I think I'm happy with that, guys. I'll show you for a bit more base on. Right there. Yeah, let's go with that. So, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And, uh, yeah, I'll do that steampunk uh, train thing from Rich Schmidt on next one. So, take it easy, and I'll see you later. Take care.